Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessing Foundry. Today's reading is going to be a general read. We'll look at the energies and messages Spirit has for you at the time you view this video. If you are just finding this channel, welcome so much. Glad to have you. If you're returning, thank you so much. I really appreciate your continued support. Guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, 5D light and above, please come here. Please connect with the Pisces Collective, the Pisces viewers and subscribers of this channel to get the messages Pisces needs at the time they watch this video. I ask that you please connect with the Pisces viewers, guides, guardians, angels, and ancestors, and higher selves to get the messages that the Pisces viewer need to see at the time they watch this video. All right, here we go, Pisces. Let's see what Spirit has for you today. What messages do you have for Pisces today, please, Spirit? What messages do you have for Pisces? Okay, what messages do you have for Pisces, please, Spirit? What messages do you have for Pisces? What do you want Pisces to know? What does Pisces need to know when they watch this video, please? Okay, so we have a Ten of Cups. What else does Pisces need to know? Thank you. And a Seven of Swords. What else do you need to know? What else does Pisces need to know? What else does Pisces need to know, please, Spirit? What other messages do you have for Pisces? And we have the Nine of Swords, so Ten of Cups, Seven of Swords, and Nine of Swords. So there might be something influencing your happiness right now. That you're making a decision to walk away. Perhaps something was presented to you as very promising, but then you realized the truth of it and you had to turn your back to it. Maybe somebody was promising you happiness. Maybe somebody was promising you the Ten of Cups emotional fulfillment. But they were just really playing a sneaky trick on you and you realized it. Like they had no intentions of fulfilling what they were saying. It could be an air sign or they could have air in their chart. I have this masculine air energy of the King of Swords, um, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. What other messages do you have for Pisces today, please? And then we have the Emperor. So they could have Aries in their chart. Air and Aries, maybe? Okay. Again, it doesn't have to be, but we'll see. We'll get the clarification. So what we're seeing right now, Pisces, is somebody's making a decision to walk away um, from something. Something where they were happy, but there was some... I'm getting cheating. I'm getting dishonesty. I'm getting underhanded behaviors. And this caused so much anxiety and stress in this situation that there was no choice but to walk away. Now, this could be somebody around you and it could be, you know, either a relationship or it can be a job or some family situation. Again, apply it as it resonates with you because this is a general reading. But overall, what we're seeing initially here is a decision to walk away and leave behind stress, anxiety, and um, underhanded behavior, trickery, um, deceitful behavior, um, and understanding that this Ten of Cups is never going to come to fruition in this situation, so making a decision to leave. Again, if it's a job, if it's whatever that Ten of Cups was for this person, um, and this could be you deciding to walk away or somebody you know deciding to walk away. And then we have the King of Swords and um, the Emperor card, which is a card of Aries. So this could be that the decision to walk away was done very logically and non-emotionally. Um, it could also be somebody who has Air, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or Aries in their chart. Again, it does not have to be, but it's picking up the energies of deciding to walk away and taking control there might be some legal battles involved there might be some um higher how higher organizations involved um because of having to walk away there might have had to have been some um adjustments in finances or in legal matters you had to i see that there had to there was it got to the point where the stress and anxiety was so bad and you had to walk away, whoever this is, um, that you had no choice but to become non-emotional about the situation. Like you had to just be like rigid and know this is what's gonna happen. I'm done, I'm walking away. I'm almost like this person 
had to forget about their emotions for a little while and just go for it as a very cold blank slate, like a frozen tundra in order to move forward. And now this person is looking ahead. They're looking ahead to, you know, what is going to fulfill their heart space and what is going to be tangible that they can hold on to. Again, this can be a job, you know, ha having to walk away from a job or a job loss or a relationship loss or a family, take it as it fits your situation. Um, but here, the person is looking forward into, you know, what, what is going to be next, but they definitely want something, you know, they understand there's a lot of options in front of them, but they want something very grounded and that they can hang on to and let, and not have to let go. And that's going to bring, you know, happiness and fulfillment. And it's also going to come in and cleanse out this, this, um, this, the past, kind of like wipe the slate clean so they can go forward and have something very real and very true and something that there's no um, anxiety about. It's only happiness. So we'll get clarification for you now, Pisces. Spirit, please clarify these cards for Pisces. Please show Pisces exactly what they need to know in this message. What is this 10 of cups, please? What is this 10 of cups for Pisces? What is this 10 of cups for Pisces? What do you want Pisces to know about this 10 of cups, please? Thank you. So it seems as though, again, in the whole theme of what this is saying is initially the situation that you're, whoever is walking away from, they thought this person was their person. They thought this was going to be, or they thought this job was going to be the job or this opportunity was going to be, you know, the ultimate um, emotional fulfillment. And, you know, perhaps they had looked at this situation or person as being like, completion like you complete me or this job is you know going to be it for me you know this is like the one right but then as the situation the job the financial situation or the relationship or love relationship continued there was this seven of swords energy that interrupted it what is the seven of swords please spirit what is the seven of swords energy and again, this could be you or somebody around you, Pisces. Take it as it resonates. What is the Seven of Swords, please, for Pisces? What do they need to know about the Seven of Swords? What is the Seven of Swords, please, Spirit? What is the Seven of Swords? What is the Seven of Swords, please, Spirit? Thank you. So we have the Nine of Pentacles. So somebody was acting in their own interest um, in this situation. Somebody, you know, was doing their own thing independent of other considerations is what we see here. Somebody may, in a relationship situation, somebody may have been um, acting as though they were single when they truly were in some type of partnership. So, you know, cheating, lying, you know, having that player behavior for a job or financial situation. Somebody could have um, been flossing is what I'm getting. Um, and flossing is like, they say it's not flossing if you got it, right? So like flossing is like putting up the um, portrayal that you have something that you actually do not. So that's called flossing, right? It's, it's pretending to have what you don't. And so that could have been what it is either in skills, abilities, finances, but either way, um, there was some type of deceit and um, underhandedness here. What is this? And well, clearly that, that led to the Nine of Swords. What is this Nine of Swords, please? What is this Nine of Okay, hold on, guys. I can't take all these. So when those cards fell out and I started to pick them up, it, um, the words that came to me was a hot mess. So <laughs> take that as it resonates. It seems as though the situation became a, a hot mess real quick. What is this Nine of Swords, please? What does Pisces need to know about? Okay, so this was very disruptive to somebody's foundation. Um, they thought they were going to be in union with somebody or, you know, they thought they were going to have some type of celebration in this situation. But the, the harsh reality, you know, came through that the situation was not, in fact, what they thought. Um, it, it did not have the um, foundation and the grounding and the... Um, the truth is what I'm getting. It did not have the truth around it. So that clearly caused a lot of um, anxiety. For some of you, it may have broken up a home. 
Um, for some of you, you may have had plans to share a life with somebody and that was broken up and you had to walk away. Again, take it as it resonates. For some, maybe a job did not pan out or some type of investment did not pan out or somebody was, again, pretending to be something they weren't and you thought you could really have something with this person. But the truth is that it, it would never be able to materialize. It would, it would never be able to materialize. What is this Eight of Cups? Because it was false. Whatever this situation is or was, it was like a pipe dream, Pisces. It, it was a false portrayal of reality. What is this Eight of Cups, please, Spirit? What is this Eight of Cups? What does Pisces need to know about this Eight of Cups, please? Thank you. And we have the Knight of Pentacles clarifying the Eight of Cups. So whoever this person is that's walking away, they're tired of bullshit. Pardon my language I, that just came out before I could even stop it. So apparently the channeling is a little quick today. So um, so this person, you or another person, is walking away from pipe dreams, false promises, people who are flossing, you know, organizations who aren't coming through, financial investments that aren't panning out, and you're walking towards your stability. You're making an active decision to walk through the door, I, this is weird that I'm getting, but you're walking through a new doorway, a new gateway into something where you're going to actually be able to have something you can hold on to. Here, we see, you know, trickery, deceit, deception, false beliefs, false scenarios, things that crumble down around you and give you anxiety and stress and sleepless nights. But here, the truth around the situation has been seen and now this person is moving towards stability. They want real stability and, and, and real groundedness in their life. So what is this King of Swords, please, Spirit? We have the King of Swords here. What is this King of Swords? What does Pisces need to know about this King of Swords? What is this King of Swords, please? What is this King of Swords, please? What is this King of Swords, please, Spirit? What do you want Pisces to know about this King of Swords? Thank you. So we have the strength. So somebody's definitely seeing the situation clearly and having the courage um, and bravery. I'm getting like, definitely, this is a very difficult, um, this has been a very difficult lesson for this person. And I'm feeling um, the, the weight of this inside me, like in my heart space and a little bit in my sacral, like it, it's, um, it's been extremely a very difficult burden, but they're they're being very clear cut about it. They've made the decision, and they're using their strength and courage to move forward and and leave this old situation behind because they see the truth. and And it's like once they saw the truth of the situation, there is no way they could go back. The only option here was to go forward. There there was there's once they saw the truth of the situation, there's no way they could go back. And what I'm seeing right now on the bottom of the deck is the full card. So there's definitely, you know, they're done with the situation. Whatever this is, whoever this is. What is this Emperor card, please, Spirit? What do you want Pisces to know about this Emperor card? Yeah, this, this really was a huge letdown and disappointment for somebody. What is this Aries? Or why do I keep doing that? What is this Emperor card, please? What is this Emperor card for Pisces? What do you want Pisces... Thank you. So we get moving ahead and we get the King of Swords. So there's, there's, this person has taken the reins of the situation. They've taken control. They're in their power. They're not allowing bullshit to get in the way because they are definitely moving forward. Um, they have the truth. They have the clarity. They have all the understanding they need. And now they know exactly what they want. And they're going forward to achieve their goals, dreams, and desires because they want something very tangible that's going to make them happy. Because this situation in the past did not make them happy at all. Like this situation was a train wreck. Like literally, this situation was a train wreck and they're just like, no more train wrecks, please. So they're, they're moving forward, clearly knowing exactly what they want. And what is this Seven of Cups for Pisces? What do you want Pisces to know about the Seven of Cups? What is the Seven of Cups, please, Spirit? What is the Seven of Cups for Pisces? What do you want Pisces to know about the Seven of Cups? What is the Seven of Cups, please, Spirit? Hold on. What is the Seven of Cups for Pisces? Please come near, Spirit. Please show Pisces what they need to know about the Seven. Okay, that's too many. I'm going to change decks. Hold on, guys. Spirit, what is the Seven of Cups for Pisces? What do you want Pisces to know about the Seven of Cups? What is the Seven of Cups for Pisces, please? 
Okay. Yes. So this person understands they have a lot of options and they, but, but now from being in this situation, they fully see clearly what they do not want in their life. And now they, by going through this situation, it helped them understand where they need to go and they're headed right towards it. Like they made the decision to concretely and stably move towards um, their future, move towards, you know, what they truly desire. So here in the seven of cups, we see, you know, a lot of options, a lot of um, possibilities, but then we have the ace of cups. And again, seven plus one is eight and we have the eight of cups. So here they made the decision to walk away. And now here they're making the decision to walk toward. So now they're walking towards their new beginning, their no, new emotional fulfillment. And what is this four of pentacles for Pisces, please spirit? What do you want Pisces to know about this four of pentacles? What is this four of pentacles, please? What is this four of pentacles for Pisces? What do you want Pisces to know about this four of pentacles, please? What is this four of pentacles for Pisces? What do you want Pisces to know about this four of pentacles, please, spirit? What do you want Pisces to know about this four of pentacles? Thank you. So they're definitely going to be hanging on, working on making, wow, come on. They are making choices that are going to be very tangible. They're, they do, they're very mindful of the fact that they were in this five of pentacles space. Maybe as a result of the situation, they suffered financial loss. Maybe they were rejected out in the cold. Maybe they endured a very difficult hardship. One more card for this four of pentacles, please. And they might be, you know, going through this right now or, or on the edge of it. Um, I'm feeling like they're in this, like in the process of choosing, in the process of walking away right now is how I, I'm feeling like the current energy is here and that this is more past. So they're kind of in this, in this area right now, if that makes sense. Please give Pisces one more card to clarify this four of pentacles. One more card to clarify this four of pentacles for Pisces, please spirit. One more card to clarify this four of pentacles for Pisces, please. Hold on. One more card to clarify this four of pentacles. Any other cards to clarify this four of pentacles spirit? Okay. So this is quite a few cards. But here, this person definitely, so we're getting the nine of swords again. And what was seen, what I was seeing is they're working on, um, they need to be careful that they're not letting go of this um, lack mentality and stress and worry. And they need to allow the cleansing of the sun to come through in this situation. But here we have the three of pentacles, the hierophant, the king of pentacles, the knight of swords, the page of pentacles, and the page of cups. So it seems as though, you know, this person may in fact need to do some cleansing of this old situation. Um, so they might have to go through a period of healing and letting go. But here what we see is they want to hold on to, because it's, it's kind of like, this is what's behind the scenes. Let me see if I can hang on to all these. This is what's behind the scenes. Like this is what they're hiding is the, the feelings of lack, the feelings of loss, the feeling of, you know, hardship, perhaps financial loss. And they're worried, they're hiding the fact that they have all this like stress and anxiety and sleepless nights. They're hiding that behind this facade, right? But what they're going to be doing once that situation heals is they're going to be, you know, working forward to rebuild. And whatever they work, whatever they invest in, whatever they take their skills and abilities or time to invest in, it has to be um, stable and committed. And we have um, the King of Pentacles as well. So this is definitely them focusing on things that are very tangible, things that are very grounded, things that they might be going towards something a little bit more traditional now. Again, in a job, it might be more of a traditional role or um, for some, well, they're definitely focused though on having a very stable grounded foundation. For some of you, I, I'm, it may involve an earth sign, um, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Again, it does not have to be. Um, and maybe some of, okay, maybe some of you have earth in your chart as well. Um, take it as it resonates. Again, it's also just the energies here. 
but they're definitely working um, on going from, because here we have like a progression, right? We have the five of pentacles, the four of pentacles, and the three of pentacles. So they are doing a reset in their life right now. They're resetting and they're cleansing out to have this new beginning. So then after the three of pentacles, hierophant and king of pentacles, we have once they get that reset button hit, and this is a little bit abstract, but whatever. Um, once they are able to cleanse out that five of pentacles and nine of swords energy, the anxiety, um, sense of loss, sense of lack. Once they cleanse that out, they're going to be totally focused on this new beginning, which is going to be, you know, building. They're going into building mode. If it's not, if you can't build it, they don't want it. And they're, once they feel like they have their grounding with that, that they, they feel like, okay, I'm, I'm good now. Um, and I'm, I'm just seeing now on the bottom of the deck, we have the four of swords, which speaks to healing, taking time out and healing. So, oh, wait, hold on. And these, and then the deck split funny. So on the bottom, we have the four of swords and then we have the seven of pentacles. So they are definitely taking some time to um, re reevaluate and assess um, what they want. And they're going to come out of this period. Um, and once they, they get their bearing again or, or get their grounding, they're going to make some very um, rapid decisions. And you might, in fact, get some messages regarding... Um, very stable emotional offers. Some messages will probably be coming through once this person, again, it could be you, take it as it resonates. And Spirit, what is the sun card? What does Pisces need to know about the sun card? What is the sun card, please? What is the sun card? What is the sun card? You know, for a business, maybe they took some serious losses and once they, you know, get in a better financial position at the end of your close or whatever, they'll be able to move forward. You know, take it as it resonates. What is the sun card, please, Spirit? What is the sun card? For some of you, it might be legal decisions and you're going to receive blessings from the legal decisions. You're going to, it'll be in your favor. The, the past is going to, look at this, the past is going to be behind you. And then that card comes out. So what we're getting for the sun card is the six of swords clarification. So <clears throat> as I was saying, you know, for some of you, it might be a legal battle and, you know, the past will be behind you soon and you'll be able to move forward. You'll get the messages that you're free and clear or good to go. There's going to overall, whatever the situation is, there's going to be a cleansing. Whenever the sun comes in, it cleanses, it purifies, and it allows you to move forward. And we can see in the six of swords, we're moving away from choppy waters right directly towards the sun. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it's like a new vitality and, a, you know, cleansing. One card for the overall message of this reading for Pisces, please. One card for the overall message of this reading for Pisces, please, Spirit. One card for the overall message of this reading for Pisces, please, Spirit. What do they need to know? What do they need to know? One card for the overall message of this reading, please, for Pisces. Thank you. Material and spiritual prosperity. So, you know, hang in Pisces. You know, things are got about to get much, much better. Um, things are going to be improving on a grand scale is what I'm hearing. One oracle card for Pisces, please, Spirit. One oracle card for Pisces for this reading. What guidance do you have for them? What guidance do you have for Pisces for this reading, please? One oracle. <clears throat> Success, it says. So here, I know there, I know that there is no greater goal than to love. So, you know, definitely with the, the cleansing and purging um, of an old cycle of a very disappointing um, situation, there's going to be enormous success and prosperity that's going to come as long as you, you know, open yourself up to the possibility and, you know, do the work that needs to be done. Again, you or this other person. One angel answers card for Pisces, please, Spirit. One angel answers card for Pisces. What do they need to know for an angel answer for what they're quite asking? What did, one angel answers for Pisces. Thank you so much. Ask your angels. So Pisces, right now is a time that you can, you know, go into meditation and really um, get yourself attuned with your angels and ask them to send you um, 
messages either in your dreams or signs, symbols, synchronicities to give you clear indications of what you need to know. So this is what I have for you, Pisces. I hope it helps. God bless.